In Mario Kart Wii, every track has an expert staff ghost. In this challenge, I tried to beat these ghosts with the same vehicle and character that they used, but I only got one attempt at each track. Here's how it went. Alright, here we go. So, I actually don't know what the time to beat is, but the expert staff ghost uses Luigi with the mock bike. So we're gonna see if we can beat that in one try, also using Luigi and mock bike. And if we can't, tough luck, move on to the next one. If we can, great. Uh, I'm gonna go for a bit of a nerfed version of the shortcut here. Just because I don't think they're gonna be going for anything crazy. You know what though, I'm using mock bike. I mean, I'll go for the, the full version now. Oh, uh, that was pretty clean. Ooh, okay. Let's try a little... something new here. Alright. We got 115.7. Fast Staff Ghost has appeared, so let's see. Do we beat the Fast Staff Ghost? We beat it, alright. So we beat it by... Four seconds. So for Moo Moo Meadows, we have to use Baby Daisy and the Bullet Bike, which I'm pretty sure the world record here uses the spear, so the Bullet Bike is going to be like the polar opposite of that, just because I think the Bullet Bike has the best drift in the game, so putting it on a spear track is going to be interesting combination for sure. <clears throat> oh! That might mess things up. Just getting greedy there. Let's see if I can get the low trick. I cannot. Okay, this might be bad. <laughs> see what happens. My only prediction is that I'm probably not gonna beat Rainbow Road. Because I remember for years I couldn't beat it. I was, I mean, I was stunned, you know? And I'm only getting one try at each track. So I'm not gonna go for the, you know, Cart shortcut on Rainbow Road. Okay, we got a 125-332. This is probably going to be pretty close. I'm a little bit nervous. But let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. All right. So it looks like we beat this guy by 0.57. I mean, super close there. Not even a second. All right, well, hey, I will take it. The next track, Mushroom Gorge, we are using Toadette and the Mini Beast. So, I don't feel comfortable with this vehicle enough to get Gap Jump on my first try, so I'm probably just gonna do the little grass cut that the Staff Ghost does. And I'm driving very, very basic right now. I just I haven't used this vehicle on this track in time trials in forever, I mean, really. I don't know if I ever have. Just like this. Get an orange MT. Get a little snaking action going here. 39 seconds, that's actually pretty good. That's uh, on track for sub two minutes, so. Happy about that. Nah, it's not. I'm scared. I'm playing real safe here. I don't want to mess anything up. Maybe if if I just beat him time after time after time, maybe I'll start going for some riskier stuff. Oh, that's probably good. That's probably ideal. Get that orange MT there. I'm curious to see what time I'm going to get. Because it's definitely... It's going to be a 150-something. But I didn't see what my last lap time was. I'm not going for gap jump, and I'm not using... Oh, shoot, I missed it. Uh, I'm not using a vehicle I'm really used to, so this is definitely throwing me off as far as times go, but uh, yeah, we're good. 156.9, so I did see, I'm pretty sure, the Expert Staff Ghost on this track has a 201, but let's see. And 201, we're good. Next track, gonna be Toad's Factory, using Toad, of course, with the Blue Falcon. So, I'm actually kind of nervous about this one, because... I mean, I pretty much never time trial on Toad's Factory. I don't know what any of the strats are, and I never use the Blue Falcon in this game. So I am 
curious to see. I guess I'll use this here. Um, oh, it feels like this thing has really bad drift, actually. For some reason, I thought it's drift... Oh, man! I thought it's drift was a lot better than this. Oh, okay. Oh. That worked out okay. Oh my gosh. I'm on track to lose right now. Okay. I did see that the expert staff ghost is a 205. So... Yeah, you know... This thing's mini turbo is not good. I thought it was a lot better than this, and it's just pretty bad. Let's see if I can improve from last lap, because last lap was kind of rough. I can't be getting 43s every lap, or else I won't beat the staff ghost. Oh, that's bad. Oh no, a 43.9. Yeah, I think I might have lost this one, unless I get like a 30 something, which... I don't know what lap times are for this track, but I probably can't get one. Uh, you know what, I gotta just go for it. Oh, yeah, it's over. I didn't even, I didn't even unlock the Expert Staff Ghost. So, just for anybody curious, the Expert Staff Ghost time is a 205.593. Yeah. So I would have had to... Honestly, that's pretty That's pretty impressive for a Nintendo Staff Ghost. Okay, so, this is take two on Mario Circuit. I accidentally chose the wrong vehicle, and funny thing, I burned out the first time too. So, that's nice. Anyway, we're using Mario and the Sprinter. That is what the Expert Staff Ghost uses. The Sprinter is such a cool looking vehicle, it looks like an F1 car, so it's a shame that it's really not that good for anything. Like the mini turbo is not that good, the drift is... it's whatever I guess. 34.0. That's uh... that's not good enough. We want to get... let's go for a, a 129. I don't think we're gonna get that with the sprinter, but man can dream, right? Okay. 30.9? Oh man. I know I should be snaking there, but the mini turbo on this thing's so low, I don't know if it's even worth it. Okay. 135.8. Okay. And there is my zip zip time from before when I accidentally picked the zip zip. And I don't think that beats the Expert Staff Ghost. Sad thing, had I not burnt out, probably would have beaten it. That's only two seconds difference. The burnout plus using a mushroom just because I freaked out. That probably costed me a good three, four seconds because I missed out on the shortcut lap. So for Coconut Mall, we have Princess Daisy on the Wild Wing. Oh, that was too early. Oh, dude, I'm messing these up. Okay. Honestly, though, I mean, at least that that puts a little extra challenge in, right? So, out of all the vehicles, out of all the carts, I would say the Wild Wing, probably the best one for most situations. There's there's a couple tracks where I think the uh, the Flame Flyer takes it, and maybe even some of the Mini Beast takes it. But I think, as for carts. Hard to beat the Wild Wing. Super good mini turbos, super good drifts. Um, you know, it's basically the mock bike, but the cart. 47 second lap. That's that's pretty abysmal. But we had a rough start. We were uh, burning out. So let's see. Oh, okay. That's all right. That's all right. We're still alive. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I keep making stupid mistakes. Uh, Alright, let's let's get into the zone here. I'm done losing to these Nintendo ghosts. I'm ready to to win. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll win we'll, we'll win the next race. It's fine. The next race is DK Summit. I don't even think they go for the single on DK Summit, so that should be pretty free to win. Um, 
I sure hope it is, because if not, I mean, if I don't win DK Summit, am I going to win anywhere? <laughs> so I think this is as good as gone. My actual Flame Runner time on Coconut Mall, I think, already finished, like, several seconds ago. I think I have, like, a 203. So... Okay. That just adds... I was going to say insult to injury. I guess it adds injury to injury, because you're hitting me with a car again. 226.9. So... Oh my gosh. That is terrible. Look at lap 2. 51? That's like 10 seconds off. 10 seconds off of like a decent regular record. Oh my. And the thing is, I wasn't even given that bad of a vehicle. I was given a wild wing. Wait. Oh my gosh. I didn't even unlock the expert staff ghost. I barely even beat the regular one. Well, for anybody who's curious, the regular staff ghost gets a 213.3 with the wild wing and Daisy. I'm sick of losing on these flower cup tracks. I'm gonna win this one. So it's Donkey Kong on T. <laughs> I've really gotta learn that timing. I should have it down by now. Anyway, it is Donkey Kong on the Flame Runner for DK Summit. Um, I'm debating on whether or not I should go for the double. I don't think I'm going to. You know what? We'll see how things go. I might go for the double. I might not. We're going to have to see how this all plays out. I'm definitely going for the single. That's one thing for sure. That might be the worst single that anybody's ever taken without falling off, but it's okay because it is still a shortcut and it still saves time. And I don't want to hit a shy guy. I almost always do when I play this track. Um, that doesn't seem good. <laughs> okay, 50.3. The expert staff goes. Okay, I'm on track to lose by a lot. So let's let's improve. Honestly, not even gonna take the single here, because that way I get the uh, ultra mini turbo which the Flame Flyer lasts a pretty long time. Good mini turbo stats. Oh, I don't want to hit these guys. There's a lot of time. It's like hitting a banana, pretty much. Okay, 44.1. That saves a bunch of time from my first lap, obviously, because I had the burnout on lap one. So, I'm curious as to see... I'm not going to do the math in my head. I want to see what this is going to be. I want to be surprised here, see if we can pull off something cool, or if I am <laughs> losing to my fourth staff ghost in a row. Oh, what the heck? That was interesting. I got like fast falling kind of physics there. Okay, perfect! No, dude! That's exactly what I didn't want to happen, I was so close. Had I not hit that, uh, that, what's his name, shy guy, I would have been fine. And I'm just going to spoil it right now. I'm looking at the the website here. I did not beat the expert staff ghost. Where is gold mine? Things are gonna change. But DK Summit, as you can see, he beats me with the Wii Wheel by four seconds. That's embarrassing. We've got Wario on Wario's gold mine with the Flame Flyer. I've got a feeling we're gonna see the Flame Flyer a lot. I feel like Nintendo, you know, the staff knew that was one of the better carts in the game. And I mean hey they were right. Even nowadays, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, Flame Flyer that's got the world record on Rainbow Road. And for kart world records, for kart players, I'm pretty sure this has more world records than most of the other cards. Maybe the Wild Wing out does it. Gotta take this way. Whew, really sit through there. I just realized I still got all three of my shrooms. I haven't used any of them yet. Okay, missed that. Might as well use one here. 43.3. Okay, I've got to be going for more mini turbos here. I'm not snaking at all, and I think that's actually losing me time. Oh, dude. Instant regret. That just, that just cost me the race, I bet. But, hey, still gonna see what I can get. See if I even beat the regular staff ghost. Probably not. Oh my. <laughs> that was close. Might as well have just fallen off. Thinking about going for glitch lap 3, but I... 
The saddest part is, I'll go for glitch right now. I don't know how to do it without a shroom, so I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, even if I did make the glitch, I wouldn't win. Which is a whole new level of sad, but it is what it is. Gotta finish. I'm gonna make myself finish, but I'm not gonna make you all watch it. So I ended with a time of 2.41. I did not unlock the expert staff ghost. I don't even think I beat the regular staff ghost. This might be the worst time I have ever gotten on a track. I lost to... Okay. The regular staff ghost, using the Wii Wheel and the Wario Bike, beat me by over 20 seconds. I'm looking forward to this one. We have Daisy on the mock bike, as you can all see. We are on Daisy Circuit, which is a, you know, pretty simple track. And I've got a little bit of practice here. Obviously, this one should be easier than some of the cart ones that I absolutely bombed on. Oreo's gold mine was an absolute embarrassment. I tried to do the glitch and I couldn't even do the glitch, the ultra shortcut that skips the whole app. So I didn't actually see what the time was that they got, but I've got a feeling I'm gonna do just fine here. All right, 137.201. Oh yeah, we absolutely floored it. Beating the Nintendo Staff Ghost by almost four seconds, which, hey, I'm pretty happy with that. So next up, we have Koopa Troopa on the Jet Bubble for Koopa Cape. Another inside drift bike. Not a good one, but I, I think I should be okay. So let's see what happens. It's definitely gonna be better for me than carts. I'm just generally pretty spooked by carts. I use them sometimes, Ooh, just for fun, but I mean, I've been using Flame Runner and Mock Bike most of my time playing this game. Anyhow, Jet Bubble should be good. Oh wait, I should have done the waterfall cut at the end. It's okay, it's okay. The grass cut should be fine. So I'm actually going to do this shortcut. I think I did the other one last lap. because that sets me up for one of those, and... Alright. I don't want to hit that thing. Oh my gosh, almost fell off there. Fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, but the world record does not trick on that ramp there. I always thought it did. I recently watched it, and it does not. And I personally, I can see why it might be better for the Flame Runner, but Jet Bubble kind of need all the speed I can get, so I'm going to be tricking on lots of stuff. Anything I can, and don't fail to trick on. I will trick on. Let's go for this. I haven't... Oh my gosh. Okay. Should still be okay, right? And did we beat the Koopa Cape Expert Staff Ghost? We did, all right. Not by a lot, just a couple seconds. Technically, not even a couple seconds, like 1.9, but we beat it nonetheless. So next up, we have the Sneakster with Diddy Kong for Maple Treeway. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, this is also one of my worst tracks in the entire game, so. I'm going to be curious to see how this plays out, because I do get to use an inside drift bike, and I think I think that's good, don't get me wrong, but when it's the Sneakster and it's Maple Treeway, I, I get a little worried. Oh my gosh, dude, it ate my drift. Yeah, I was gonna say, if I can get the respawn boost, I might be alright, but uh, I didn't get the respawn boost, and I do not think I'll be alright. What can I say? One of my worst tracks in the game, so I wasn't expecting anything too amazing. Well, I don't know what the Staff Ghost time is. 
I've got a feeling it's uh, probably going to be beating me by several seconds just because not only did I burn out in the beginning, but I then fell off the track. And uh, that's, that's rough, you know. Burning out and then also falling off. That was interesting. Probably not optimal, but it's kind of cool. And we're finishing up with a 242.1. Yeah, had I not burnt out and also fallen off, this probably wouldn't be that bad. But that's okay. This next one is Grumble Volcano with Dry Bowser and the Spear. I don't know how the Spear is going to be on this track. I'm a little worried about that. But it is Grumble Volcano and it is an Inside Drift Bike. And I like that. I'm also not going to do the Glitch or the Rock Hop. I feel like those would give me too big an advantage. Um, and it wouldn't really be fair. I want it to be a challenge, you know? And Spear on Grumble Volcano. It's a challenge, so let's not skip a bunch of the track. Uh, maybe this? Uh, okay, you know what? That's, uh... I don't know. Let's have this light again. That's the end of 207-280s. Okay. I'm gonna take the upward path. I, I just had to slow down so much to take the... No, I gotta slow down to take this track at all. Man. Yeah, this is a rough vehicle here. I think I'm just gonna sort of... This... Oh. Alright, 207.4. What does the Expert Staff Ghost get? And the Expert Staff Ghost gets 211. Alright. Yeah, we did good here. We beat it by 4.4, roughly. The next track, Dry Dry Ruins, we have Yoshi on the Sneakster. We are using the Sneakster once again. And I remember when I was younger struggling so much to beat the Staff Ghost. I specifically remember the Shroom Spot was in the uh, inside the little temple area where they usually, people usually do the wall glitch instead. Here's, I'll, I'll just do it. They just shroom here, cut off all the dirt, and then I've got to worry about it. And I used to fail wall glitch all the time, still do, so that's that was my substitute. Let's see if I can get the uh, shroomless sand cut here. Ooh. Oh, pretty close. All right, got a 307 pace, not bad. 307.8, which I don't know. That might or might not be beating. The Staff Ghost. Let me go for this again. And voila. I mean, still not terrible. Probably still saving time for not doing it at all. That lap was bad, though. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go for this shortcut instead this time. That. Uh, that trick was pretty high. We'll see if that saves much time. All right, let's just go for the wall glitch. Oh, no. Okay. Well, um, on the bright side, Sneaksters Excel, not that bad, and I think we had a good enough lead at first to be able to take it home. Oh no, dude, we hit the early off-road, oh my gosh. And we unfortunately just barely missed it. I definitely got some mixed feelings about this one, because I do get to use the mock bike but it's on what I consider to be the hardest track in the game. Definitely my worst track in the game. No no question about it. So, I don't know the car patterns. I don't know the anything. I know that that was a safe turn to make, and from here on out, I'm on my own. I don't know any of the timings, any of the that junk. So, we're going to see how well I do. I do know where most of the, mini, or most of the boost pads are. So, I should be okay. Plus, we got Peach, bonus drift stat, um, on the mock bike, one of the best drifting vehicles in the game. So, should be pretty easy to maneuver so long as we don't hit anything, because its acceleration is not that good. Oh, that's not fair. That truck did not touch me. 
Come on, man. Okay. Well, thankfully, I don't think the mushrooms are that important on this track. It is obviously covered in boost panels, so if I, you know, if I keep hitting these, I shouldn't have to worry too much about the cars, or about the mushrooms being gone. Oh, okay. 42.6. I didn't even see what lap one was like. Hoping for... Okay. Well, my, my hopes and dreams were just crushed by that car. So... Pretty sure that loses it for us. Which doesn't surprise me. Oh, man. Less than a second. Are you kidding me? Okay. As you can see, we have Bowser on the Flame Runner. Finally, we get to use the Flame Runner at the very end, which is sad, but hey, better late than never. I'll be pretty disappointed if I lose this one, because, I mean, it's the Flame Runner. Come on. I use this vehicle all the time. So I'm trying to think. I'm not going to do the shortcut, just because I don't think I'm consistent enough at it yet, and that's just too big an advantage. How should I use this mushroom? Lakitu seemed like he spawned so high up there, it was weird. I'll just use a mushroom here. I'll just use them both here. Why not? Mushroom on a sort of straightaway, and didn't have to go worrying about the zipper ramps, so. Two thirty six point four fifty eight. Not half bad, but we beat it. Just about five and a half seconds. I didn't expect to lose many times this challenge. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed because I have and that's the wrong vehicle. But one thing I will say is I absolutely expect to lose this one because I have to use the jet setter. <laughs> this is one of my lesser used vehicles in the game. It's like the spear. If the spear was a cart, its drift is abysmal, its mini turbo is terrible, um, <laughs> and gonna be honest, I don't know why they thought to use this, I guess it only made sense to use this one, because it looks sort of futuristic, maybe like a spaceship, I don't know, but I'm also not gonna be doing the moon jump two reasons. One, I feel like that gives me an unfair advantage over the Nintendo Staff Ghost, and two, because I'm gonna need these mushrooms to recover when I inevitably do something crazy, make a mistake. If you don't do path switch, I still don't know which is technically faster. I always take left, but technically the right one's a bit lower, so... Maybe it's better. Alright, so... I don't think we're really on pace to beat it. I don't think we're even on pace to get that close, honestly. Whoever it is that uh, set this ghost, whatever Nintendo worker, you're absolutely cracked, man. Good job. Your record is one that I will not beat. You know what, though? I will go for this. Just because... yeah, okay. I figured I might as well because I was already behind by like eight seconds or something. I mean, that time, no moon jump, getting a 244, that's impressive. That's impressive even if you're a player of the game today. Not doing moon jump, using a cart, and getting 244. That's, that's, I mean, I probably couldn't do that. Not using the jet setter, that's for sure. 258, we did get the sub two minute. We did unlock the expert staff ghost, but as you'll see in just a minute, we did not beat it. So as you can see, 258, 244, wasn't even close. Even without the death, I probably still would have lost. Thank you all so much for watching. This is my first time doing a video like this, and honestly, it was really fun. Um, let me know if you guys liked it, and I'll come back and do the retro tracks. All right, take care.